Hello and welcome to my forge. It's time for my favorite miniatures, knights. To be precise, Bretonian questing knights. Games Workshop stopped producing the range and since then prices for used models have risen enormously, so I start building my own questing knights. As starting miniatures I use Fireforge knights, plate armor comes from parry miniatures and horses are manufactured by Fireforge too. The first tool I'm using is the saw. I cut off the legs just above the knees. The remaining parts are of no use anymore, so on this occasion they don't find their way into the bits box, but into the dustbin. To measure the right length for the new legs, I hold them above the Fireforge miniatures. Then I cut off the legs in plate armor. Fine works are done with the knife. When everything fits, it's time for the drill. First I drill a hole in one part and place a piece of brass wire in there. Then I press the second part against the wire, which leaves a small mark. At this mark, the second hole is drilled, so that the two parts can be connected. Questing knights don't use lances. Because they are a sign of a vessel's duty, so they leave them behind when they embark on their quest for the Grail. Instead, they use two-handed swords. For this knight, his new arms come from the Perry Miniatures Foot Knights 1450 to 1500. However, there is also a connection with brass wire needed. The procedure is the same as for the legs. The parts are from different manufacturers, so they don't fit. It's necessary to check from time to time if they look naturally in their position and if it's still possible to glue them together or if there is also another connection with brass wire needed. After the arms are done, the knight can mount his horse for the first time. As you can see, it's not a standard knight horse, but it's a mongol horse. I chose this one because there's a little baggage around the saddle and this is very suitable for a questing knight. Now it's time to remodel the tabard. So it's green stuff time. With this I always use a little bit of hand lotion. The hand lotion keeps the material from sticking to my fingers and to the sculpting tool. I place the green stuff between the legs of the miniature and press it down into the saddle. By that way it adapts the shape of the saddle and after that I start modeling the tabard. While the green stuff hardens, I start working on the second knight. This one will be a little bit easier than the first one, for he will only get new shoulders in plate armor. The shoulders are from an Imperial Roman soldier from Warlord Games. The right shoulder isn't a problem because it's just a single part. The left shoulder is part of the legionnaire's body, so it has to be cut away from the legionnaire and also the knight has to lose a part of his shoulder. The new shoulder isn't large enough, as you can see, to fill in the whole space which was cut away. But this will be fixed with green stuff later. After the shoulders are completed, there have to be new arms, which come from the Fireforge Foot Knights 11 to 13th century box. I cut off the lower arm and connect it to the shoulder with brass wire.
then it's time again for green stuff. To fill in the gap at the shoulder is much easier than remodeling the tablet. Just press the green stuff in the gap and shape it to the form of the body. While I'm waiting for the green stuff to harden, I work with the new shield arm. I cut it off after measuring the right length and glue it to the shoulder. The last step is remodeling the part of the tablet because the knight will also ride on a mongol horse. The third knight will be a little bit more demanding for I will change chainmail to plate armor as I did for the first knight. So this means again cutting off the legs in plate armor, checking for the right length, then cutting off the legs in chainmail, again checking for the right length and connecting everything with brass wire. This time I take the shortcut for converting the arms. They are part of Perry Miniature's mounted Ajinkur Knight's box. The right arm is sculpted so that a sword or a lance can be attached to it. For new hands I'm using again the Fireforge Foot Knight set. I take off the sword hand at the wrist and glue it to the right arm. As a shield I'm taking one from Fireforge which has the arm already attached to it. The arm is cut away right down to the wrist. After that both parts are glued together. The part from Perry Miniatures is smoothed so that between shield and arm will be no gaps and the glue will weld it together. And also the tabard has to be remodeled at the places where pieces were cut away. Sometimes converting a miniature has more to do with cutting it into pieces than building something new. I also fill in the gap at the horse's neck. For the horse is Fireforge and the head is Perry Miniatures. By combining these different sets you get some variation also to the horses. And here are the completed miniatures. If you liked my video and want to support my channel, like, share and subscribe or leave a comment below. See you soon in my forge.